We're absolutely delighted with how it's gone. Everything's run really smoothly. Um, thousands and thousands of people, as you said, have, have flocked to Great Yarmouth and uh, enjoyed the, the uh, seaside and everything we have to offer. And we've had a fantastic display for them to enjoy. So we're absolutely delighted. An air show is, is the biggest headline event that you can possibly do at a resort. And we were anticipating that the initial inaugural air show today would, and, and yesterday were going to bring around 10 million pounds worth to the economy of Great Yarmouth, which is a huge sum. And uh, you know, it's, it's critical for a, the survival of a, a resort like us. Most people involved with the, the company are, are volunteers. They don't do it for anything other than um, to try and build the profile of Great Yarmouth because we love, you know, we're all in the, the, the business of uh, delivering experiences to families that want to come to the seaside and enjoy what we have to offer. So to see so many people here, see many kids with their faces painted and balloons and flags and uh, enjoying uh, eating ice cream and uh, watching the show on the beach is, is what we're all about. So we're absolutely thrilled that that's happened. The planning's been coming on for two years now, so it's been uh, a long and arduous road. We've had our ups and downs, as most things of this this kind of magnitude have. But uh, um, initially, we've got, we've got obviously got our board of about 25 people that are, are there to make the decisions um, on a on a regular basis. Then we have a smaller team that's our air show management group of about eight people that kind of do the day to day work in terms of setting things up. But actually, for the event itself, we've got in the region of about 500 people now managing and helping to keep this event safe um, and enjoyable for everyone that visits. More people have come by public transport than we expected, which is great news because uh, that's obviously what we all want to see is that the public transport gets used. So I think reports from first bus that were there at least three times the amount of passengers that they normally carry on a Saturday. Um, and we believe that Anglia trains also were extremely busy. Um, lots of people from the local area chose to walk and cycle in. And as you say, the roads network and the car parking all worked really well. So we're absolutely thrilled because obviously the most important thing is that people come into Great Yarmouth for the first time or have not been here for a long time. We want to ensure their experience was as good as possible. So an easy transition into the area and back out again is, is absolutely wanted. So to hear that's happened is, is uh, really pleasing. The difficult bit was getting this one off the ground, you know, the work that's gone into it from some of the team is, is phenomenal. I mean, just our event plan alone is 700 pages long, so it, that's the kind of stuff that takes a lot of things to get off the ground, but now we've got it in place. Hopefully, uh, maybe a few tweaks needed here and there, but uh, getting organised for next year, we can focus on just how we make it bigger and better going forward.